Hello and welcome to TTV News on Thailand Radio and Television Station. Ladies and gentlemen, on January 23rd, the People's Committee of Thailand Province have a conference to summarize local defense work, defense and security education in 2023 and the latest in 2024. Speaking at the conference, Chairman of the Provincial Service Committee in Nguyen Thanh Ngoc appreciated the efforts of units and localities in implementing local defense work and national defense and security education in 2023. He said that in 2023, in addition to economic development, local defense and defense education also achieved comprehensive results. For 2024, it needs to promote the achieved results and at the same time focus on other key tasks. On this occasion, Commander of Military Reason 7, Peel's Committee of Tenant Province, awarded certificates of merit to many groups and individuals with outstanding achievements in local defense work in 2023. The military command of agencies, organizations, and units signed a contest to implement the demolition movement to win in 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, on the afternoon of January 24, Mr. Khao Pun Red, Consulate of the Kingdom of Cambodia in Ho Chi Minh City, had a courtesy visit at NWES the Lunar New Year to the leaders of the Department of Foreign Affairs of Tanan Province on the occasion of the Lunar New Year, the Dragon of 2024. Receiving and working with the delegation, there was Mr. Nguyen Thanh Văn, Consulate General of Vietnam in Bat Tham Bang Province, Kingdom of Cambodia, Mr. Nguyen Văn Hồng, Director of the Department of Foreign Affairs. At the meeting, Mr. Kevin Reed, on behalf of the Consulate General of the Kingdom of Cambodia in Ho Chi Minh City, sent bad wishes to the leaders and all staff of the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Nguyen Province on the occasion of the upcoming of the Dragon New Lunar Year arriving. And at the same time, he believes that with the attention and direction of provincial leaders, the relationship between the Nguyen Province with the Consulate General and the border provinces of the Kingdom of Cambodia will continue to be tightened and increasingly developed. In particular, he also expressed his deep gratitude to the Board of Directors and staff of the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Province in recent years for coordinating with the relevant departments, agencies, and branches to advise the Provincial Party Committee and Provincial People's Committee supporting the Consulate General and Border Provinces of Cambodia in the social economic development. Coordinates while in maintaining the security and order on the border areas. And on the morning of January the 24th, the Liaison Committee of the Countrymen Association in Ho Chi Minh City, led by Mr. Trang Quoc Hui, former party central committee member, head of the Liaison Committee, visited and was the leaders of the Nguyen province a happy Lunar New Year. Welcoming the delegation, there were Mr. Nguyen Man Hung, Deputy Secretary, Provincial Party Committee, and Mr. Nguyen Dai Thi, Member of Provincial Party Standing Committee, Standing Vice Chairman of Provincial People's Council, Mr. Vodik Trong, Member of Provincial Party Standing Committee, Standing Vice Chairman of Provincial People's Committee. At the meeting, the Deputy Secretary, Provincial Party Committee, Nguyen Man Hung, provided the general information on the social economic development situation of the Nguyen province in 2023 and directions in the coming time. Please, with the achievements that the party committee, the government, and the people of the Nguyen province have achieved in non fails since 2023, especially the tourism development, Mr. Tang Quoc Hui, head of the Asian Committee, also hope that under the leadership of the Provincial Party Committee and then will take off and develop further in the near future. And on the eve of the Lunar New Year of the Dragon in 2024, Mr. Tang Hui, former member of the Party Central Committee, head of the Liaison Committee of the Countrymen Association in Ho Chi Minh City, with the Party Committee, the authorities and the people of the province, a healthy new year, the happiness, prosperity, successful completion of the targets and tasks in 2024, and the following years also. On this occasion, the leaders of the Nguyen province and the Liaison Committee also exchanged information on some expected contents of the meeting programs of the Tenant Countrymen Association in Ho Chi Minh City in the year of the Dragon in 2024. And on January the 23rd, the Tenant Military Command met and interacted with the Bishop of Phu Cung Diocese and priests of Prairies in the province on the occasion of the celebrating of the Year of the Dragon in 2024. Attending the meeting, there was Mr. Nguyen Man Hung, Deputy Secretary, Provincial Party Committee. 
At the meeting, Colonel Wing Thanh Phong, political commissioner of the Provincial Military Command of the province, expressed his joy to welcome and meet the delegates of bishops, priests, dignitaries, and parish officials in the province. At the same time, thank for the love that the unions have given to the armed forces in the province in recent times. On this occasion, the Bishop Nguyen Tung Tuk, Bishop of the Phu Cương Diocese, presented the gifts to officials and soldiers of the province armed forces, and thereby tightening the good solidarity relationship between the party committee, the authorities in the armed forces, and the department's branches, and also the sectors of the Nguyen province with the Phu Cương Diocese and parishes in the area. And on the afternoon of January 24, Mr. Nguyen Hùng, Deputy Secretary, Provincial Party Committee, Mr. Trang Văn Khai, Secretary, Hoa Thanh Thao Party Committee, visited and gave the gifts to policy families of people with meritorious services to the revolution and the citizens who are 100 years old or over 100 years old in Hoa Thanh Thao. The delegation visited and presented congratulatory cards and five meters of seal fabric from the president to Mr. Lam Thế Thanh in Long Thanh Trung Words and Mr. Duang Văn Long in Long Thanh Bắc Words, who turned to 100 years old and presented a birthday card of the chairman of the Provincial People's Committee to Mr. Lu Tân Lộc Long Thanh Bắc Words, Ms. Si Phong Thị Hai in Trung Hoa Commune and Mr. Trang Văn Tam in Trung Đông Commune are over 100 years old. The delegation visited and gave the gifts to the Vietnamese Harry Mothers Pham Thi Bé, born in 1936, residing in Nam Trai Hamlet, Trindom Commune. And there with the Secretary Provincial Party Committee, Women Home, and the delegation visited Mother Pham Thi Bé's health and current for the life and presented a gift of 1 million Vietnam Dong in cash. For the citizens turning 100 years old and over 100 years old, they will receive a gift and 2.5 million Vietnam Dong in cash. And on the morning of January the 24, the supervision delegation led by Ms. Yuang Thi Thanh Thuy, deputy head of the provincial national assembly delegation, as the head of the delegation had a meeting to supervise the tax department of the province on the implementation of the resolution number 43, dated January the 11th of 2022, of the national assembly on fiscal and monetary policies to support the social economic recovery and development program in the province. In 2023, although the cherry economic contest is still difficult, the then tax department will still complete the task of collecting the state budgets. Regarding the implementation of Resolution Number 43, the provincial tax department has deployed enterprises and business households to promptly wrap the new documents and supply them in accordance with the actual business activities and in accordance with the regulations. The state regulation and at the same time direct the tax departments of districts and regions to propagate and guide the taxpayers to know and implement the policies. And the tax industry has extended the tax payment time and promptly reduced the value added tax for the business establishments and households. According to Decree No. 15 of the Government on Tax Exemption and Reduction Policies, according to Resolution No. 43. Concluding the meeting, Deputy Head of Provincial National Assembly Delegation of the Nguyen Province, Hoàng Thị Thanh Thuy, requested that the Tax Department closely monitor and evaluate the effectiveness and impact of the policy, focusing on analyzing differences and limitations that need to be removed. After specific proposals and recommendations, promote digital transformation, strengthen administrative procedures, reform, pay attention to preventing and handling harassment and negativity. The program standing side by side with Vietnamese families brings up love in 2024, giving gifts to people in difficult circumstances in Tân Binh districts is co-organized by the People's Committee of Tân Binh districts in coordination with Voice of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam Banks for Agriculture and Rural Developments, then in radio and television station in the morning of January 23rd. The program were attended by Mr. Vương Quyền, Deputy Secretary of Party Committee, Deputy Director of the Voice of Ho Chi Minh City, Mr. Vũ Xuân Trường, Party Committee Secretary, Director of the Radio and Television Station, Representative of the Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development of Tân Biên District.
100 gifts were given to 100 households in difficult circumstances in Tân Bình district, with its gifts worth 1 million Việt Nam đồng, including cash and some necessities. The program is aimed at contributing to supporting and caring for households in difficult circumstances before the Lunar New Year 2024, and at the same time, it also spreads the spirit of solidarity to everyone enjoy a warm and meaningful day. And on the afternoon of January 24, Cửa Phước Tân Border Car Station, in coordination with the People's Committee of Thanh Long, Hòa Hội, Hòa Thành Communes, organized the program of Spring Border Car, Warming the Hearts of Villagers. At the program, the Phước Tân Border Gates Border Car Station awarded 73 gifts to policy families and Vietnamese heritage models in three communes, each worth for 500,000 Vietnam dong with a total value of 78 million Vietnam dong donated. By the application, mobilized strong sponsors to support. The program Border Spring Warm the Hearts of Villagers was jointly organized by the unit to share events with the people in the area, join hands and contribute to the party committee and the local authorities to take care of families, and the policies of welcoming the Lunar New Year is warm and calm-lit, demonstrating the nation's morality of the material love and solidarity, and strengthening the bonds between the people and soldiers. And ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of January 24, the Happy Book Station organized by Eva Books Company opened in the province. The program takes place from January 24 and last to January 28th of 2024 at Vincom Plaza Tenant Shopping Center on April of the 30th Street, Quarter 1, World Trade Tenant City. As noted by the reporter on the first day of opening of the Happy Book Station, it attracts a large number of students and the people and the people to visit and choose the book, which is considered one of the biggest book events of the year in Tenen province. This time we came to Tenen to give the young people a space to choose hot books. And there are hot books such as No Death, No Birth, Don't Be Afraid, A Thousand Lives, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and there was also hot novels like Dead in How Village. The book station with more than 3,000 books with rich and diverse content, literature, romance books, management, economics, marketing books, the children's book, comics, psychology books, life skill, and quintessential historical books. Books come from many leading publishers. And I was suffering on the TikTok and saw the ad below with the book. And so hope to bring my child down here to learn about the suitable books to help them expand their knowledge. Today after work I came here to choose the book and the atmosphere is very happy. There are many young people in green aunts and uncles choosing the books. I also chose a book to give to my mother also. I ran by after school and saw that the atmosphere here were very crowded. I went in and saw that it was suitable for my purchase, and I also needed books to read and refer to. The book station offers many incentives to customers such as 50%, 60% discount, and various times frames throughout the book fair, and selling books at the same price from 3000 9000 19000 29,000 and 59,000 and flash sales for 30 percent of best selling books in the time frame from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and new books are discounted from 50 percent to 45 percent. Happy Book Station will be an opportunity for the people to have the more choices for their favorite quality books suitable for their purchase. Activities contribute to forming the reading habits and spreading the reading culture in the community also. Ladies and gentlemen, in the modern life, more and more delicious and attractive dishes appear, but the sugar soft yam is still an indispensable rustic dish in the family area that if in the spring season, and that is why the Chinese Kalian brewing profession has been maintained by the people in Antoi neighborhood and the world of Dangbang Tao for many years. Each year there is only one verb, but from this verb, many farming households improve their economy to make the profit. And every August and September of the lunar calendar, the farmers here are busy preparing for the death of the Chinese scallion verb and take care until the end of November and early December of the lunar calendar, then start harvesting. 
If last year the price of the Chinese scallion was around 30,000 v i e t n a m d o n g per kilogram, this year the price of the Chinese scallion t u b e r s at the beginning of the season decreased to about 26,000 to 28,000 v i e t n a m d o n g per kilogram, and until the price of the Chinese scallion t u b e r s has decreased, it returned in the favorable weather. And the Chinese scallion t u b e r s have the fewer pests and diseases and have the higher yields, so the farmers are somewhat more excited. I planted for the third for the Chinese scallion with an area of 8,000 square meter of land. And if in previous year with this area, we harvested a yield of just 14 to 15 tons of the t u b e r s and then this year it increased. And our family harvested about 20 tons. After deducting the seeds and fertilizers, we had a profit at the beginning of the season of about 200 million v i e t n a m d o n g per 8,000 square meter of land. The productivity this year is higher than last year, and the price also stable at the 20,000 per kilogram, 26 to 28,000, and lower than last year. But the productivity is higher. This year, emotion of farmers will be like t h e r e s also very excited. Mr. Tay said that growing for the Chinese scallion is not difficult, but the Chinese scallion is picky about soil and does not tolerate water logging. And if the growers p r e p s the Chinese scallion planting techniques, they will have the good yields. The time to grow the Chinese scallion is longer than other p r e p s However, the income of the Chinese scallion p r e p is better. During harvest time, the traders will come to our Garden and our fields, and to purchase. And the main focal points of selling the Chinese scallions are Lop Yang in the Khoai District of Long Mang Province, p h u k n a m Commune in Goyao District, and Lop Hung Wards in Dang Mang Tao. According to the World Farmers Association, and then currently in the world, there are about 50 households growing the Chinese scallions with more than 20 hectares. Growing this kind of Chinese scallion also creates conditions for many households in the world to have a high income source to make a profit to the family. And compared to other industries such as rice and coal, the productivity is higher. We also ask for advice from the Tao Farmer Association to open a training class on the Chinese scallion growing techniques in the year so that the farmers can strive for more economic development. And it can be said that the Chinese scallion is the main crop of the third season for the farmers in Anton w o r d of Dang Bang Tao because it brings the high economic efficiency to the family. And to achieve high productivity, it is necessary to open many training courses on the Chinese scallion planting and growing techniques in the coming time. And the farmers hope for most is to find a stable out for Tong So. Ladies and gentlemen, with the purpose of supporting and caring for our poor and disadvantaged students on the occasions of the upcoming Lunar New Year's, Bao Nang A Primary School in Bao Nang k a m u r Yumen Chao District, has implemented the model Zebra Dong Canteen. i t s arm as training for our students in spirit of solidarity, did also the school's concerts for our students. The Zero v i e t n a m d o n g Canteen is a model with profound humanistic meaning aiming to educate members of Ho Chi Minh p a r e n t s Organization and children in the tradition of solidarity, mutual love, good l i s t r o t a t e tall l i s t r o m o t e the spirit of solidarity, sharing, love and helping each other. As soon as everyone participated in this model, members of Ho Chi Minh p a r e n t s Organization deduct a portion of their snack money to contribute to purchasing items such as school supplies, backpacks, cake gifts, etc. The program is organized by Ms. Nguyen Kim Phong, General Manager of Bao Nang A Primary School's Ho Chi Minh p a r e n t s Organization, deployed in just one week, assigning each team branch to decorate their own booth in many different colors, contributing funds according. According to each person's ability to complete the Zero v i e t n a m d o n g Canteen model. On the occasion of t h a t the school organized this program to create a joyful atmosphere for students. On the occasion of t h a t besides, we want to help children and families in difficult circumstances with s m a l l gifts. I hope this program and the school's attention will motivate children in difficult circumstances to have a better learning spirit. With the motto, helping friends in difficult times, 
children can help their friends by saving a part of their daily allowance, showing children empathy and care for those in it. I'm very willing and happy to donate money for breakfast to help my classmates in difficult circumstances. I hope after this program, my friends will have a happy Lunar New Year. The Zero Dawn Candy model is also a physical and mental motivation to help children in difficult circumstances love going to school more, feel warm, and feel the care of their friends and teachers and parents of students. The parents and I contribute part of the budget to support this program to help children have more complete debt gifts. This program also helps other students save money and help friends in difficult times. This is an annual activity of the school with practical significance in contributing to promoting the tradition of solidarity and education compassion for students. It is done with the design to promptly encourage students in difficult circumstances to have a warmer touch from the loving arms of teachers and friends. It also makes students become more steadfast in life and study. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.